Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this circle and the square that are put together such that uh, A is their point of tangency and moreover O is the center of the circle. The side length of this square is uh, 72 units. In other words, all these sides are going to be 72 units as well. And now we are going to calculate the area and the circumference of this green shaded circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and draw the diameter that passes through this point A and the center O. Let's go ahead and do that one. I am going to draw all the way. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. Let me go ahead and call the radius of this circle as R. And now we can see that we got a tangent and this diameter. So we know that this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well. And now we know that the whole length DE is 72 units and we know that this is half of that one. So that is going to be 36. Likewise, this is going to be 36 units as well. And moreover, we know that this length AB is same as this 72. So this is 72. We also know that this whole diameter is going to be 2 times the radius R. So therefore, this distance BC is going to be 2R minus 72. Let me go ahead and write down. 2R minus 72. And now we can see that we got these two chords AC and DE and they are intersecting each other at point B. So therefore we are going to recall intersecting chords theorem. If two chords intersecting in a circle then the product of the measures of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram in other words this uh, a times b is going to be c times d as you can see over here now we can see in our case uh, our segments are 72 and this one is 2r minus 72 we are going to multiply them out likewise we got other segments uh, 36 and 36 we are going to multiply them out as well therefore let me go ahead and write down 72 times 2r minus 72 equal to 36 times 36 now let's go ahead and distribute this 72 that is going to give us 144 r minus when we multiply 72 times 72 that is going to give us 5184 equals to 1296 on the right hand side now let's go ahead and move this 5184 on the right hand side so we are going to have 144 r equals to 1296 plus 51 84. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 144 to isolate R. So this 144 and 144 is gone. So our radius R turns out to be 45 units. And here's our final step. We already figured out our radius 45 units and now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this green circle first and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area of this green circle is going to be pi times r in our case is 45 whole square 
and if we square that thing that is going to give us uh, 20 25 pi and we know that pi is approximately equal to 3.14 if we plug it in over here so our area is going to be approximately equals to 63 61.7 square units and now let's go ahead and calculate the circumference of this green circle and here's the circumference of a circle formula which is equal to 2 pi r let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so our circumference c is going to be 2 pi times our radius is 45 units therefore our circumference is going to be 90 pi units but we know our pi value is approximately equal to 3.14 so we are going to plug it in so our circumference is approximately equal to 282.7 units and here are the area and the circumference of this green circle thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye